Jerome, he also known as Rockland Bass on the website, NewYorkBass.com. Um, I'm here with another tip for you guys. Something that's fun to do with the kids. School time is about to be out. Bass in the post spawn. Kids are going to come out, want to fish. Sometimes they get bored. There's something that'll keep their attention, even if they're not catching. But pretty much sure to catch. As we all know, moving up from Senkos, this is a number one bait that I like to go to with little kids. Fluke bait. A lot of companies make them. A lot of different variations. Um, I have here Bass Assassins. You want to go with Pearl White, Post Spawn, a lot of action. This has a crisscrossing effect. It's called a Double Fluke Rig, Donkey Rig, Tandem Rig. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. What you're going to need, spinning reel, six to eight pound test, two barrel swivels, two extra wide gap hooks, two fluke baits. You're going to start off with an 18 to two inch of line, tied to one barrel swivel. I'm using the Palomar knot. Contrary to how it looks now, I usually do this pretty fast. Go. One end, put your brow swivel. The other end, put your extra wide gap hook. I have number two out. I actually have a one out here. Use the one that goes with um, the fluke bit that you're going to use. This is the second one. I'm going to do this one like 12 inches. 12 inches of line long. The first one is about 18 inches. Now with the long one, some people do the long one first, I like to, or the short one, I like to do the long one first, put it onto your main line. At this point, some people like to put a little, a little bead first, a little rubber bead, to prevent the knot from, um, the other swivel from sliding down and banging and breaking your knot. Um, you don't really have to do it, I guess, but um, it's a good tip. Let's try that again.
Now what you're going to have, you're going to have the top one is going to slide. You want it to slide freely. Do not use a... Um, nothing but the brow swivel with this. Put on your um, baits. Key thing with doing these, fluke baits is definitely have your um, extra wide gap hooks on straight. Otherwise they won't swim straight. Have that hook come out scented. I don't really skin them too much. I can see. Now they're gonna swing like this, and when you cast it out as normal, and, it, and the um, swivel is gonna, the barrel swivel is gonna slide. And what's gonna happen is when you're swimming them, they're gonna cross each other. It's gonna look like two bait fish just crossing each other back and forth. You you have to try this, guys. This is really nice for little kids. It keeps them um keeps them interested even when they're not catching bass. I just wanted to show you how to do it. Um, you can look on YouTube. They'll show other clips and how it works in the water. Maybe I'll try to get out and use it myself and put up another clip and showing you guys how to do it and I'll attach it to this one. Um, Rockland Bassy here, Jerome from NewYorkBass.com. Hope you guys didn't like it. Double fluke rig, donkey rig, tandem rig, however you call it, the kids are going to have fun. Hope you guys enjoy it.